Whoa, easy right there guys, easy. Check this out. All right guys, let's get inside this box and see what we got. They didn't joke to tape this one up guys. I appreciate, you know, they're trying to get it over to you in one piece. That is back of the cab. Really nice. Yeah, cool. They really rock it up. Nice guys. Get your remote. And your charger for your battery. Your manual. And this is your pieces of windscreen here for the back of the cab. And this is all your snuckle and extra links and wiper blades and stickers and indicator lights. It's got your tail light, wiper blades, your side step, got your mirrors, screwdriver, snuckle, snuckle play piece right here, extra dry shelf pieces and screws. And of course stickers. So this take two AA batteries. You gotta unscrew this here. Two AA batteries goes in here. Got power. This right here is just your steering trim to balance your wheels. Let's get this plastic off. I like the design of these trucks. Pretty nice pickup. The cool thing about this, the cab can come off. It's like a half cab. You can take this piece off. Your battery is on the need here. Wow, it's amazing that this guy's gonna ship the truck with the battery already plugged in. 4.7 volt, 14,500 milliamps. All right, pretty cool, so that's simple. Put that back there like that. The switch is right here. You got power. All right, we got juice. Not bad, guys. Pretty cool. You got lights. You got some headlamps. No tail lights, just headlamps. You got an interior in there, really nice. And we gotta put all the pieces on to give it that extra scale look, you know. The wheels are pretty stiff. Not bad guys. It's not much I can tell you about this truck. It's pretty basic, you know. The real cool thing I like about it is the pickup truck. It's got this hard body, you know, it's got interior. It's pretty cool. I would like to, you know, get a chassis what I can um, put a brushless motor in there and use the body, and that would be perfect. So I can put better shocks and better servo, you know. Hopefully I get to use um, something like a LiPo 2 cell battery or 3 cell battery, you know. The servo is not too strong, but it's working. Yeah, not, not bad guys. So it's the same design of like this one. this out exact same thing guys no difference 
I just got the red and blue. Pretty cool. So we got all the pieces to put on it. I bet this could just fit right here. Yep. This is basically it, guys. Same thing. Yep. So we're gonna put all the pieces, the snuckle, the mirrors, the door handles. The thing about this one comes with a different battery. Battery look more put together, you know. And that battery is a uh, 1500 milliamp. This one is 14.5, so 14,500, and this one is 1500. Pretty cool. I like the hard body on the trucks, and I like the design. Just make a cool trail vehicle, you know. Really, pretty nice. I like them, guys. But it's not full hobby grade, you know what I mean? It's a lot of plastic, and the tires basically just sitting on the rim, you know. You can peel it off. So a lot of Philip head screws all over. But, you know, it's cool design. As I say, if I can get a brushless motor to fit in there and use two cell batteries, change the servo, we'll have a pretty nice rig. The shocks is just, you know, spring loaded in there. So, everything is pretty small back here. See, same thing, no difference. Pretty nice. Anyway, this is the vibes, guys. I got the red and the blue. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna put all the pieces together. All right, guys, so let's start putting these pieces together. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna start with the wiper blades. They are pretty simple to put together. Just have to press it in here. Just like that, and your wiper is on. There we go. There goes your wipers. Thinking a little bit of glue would be perfect so we don't lose these blades in them. Um, so now I'm gonna put the snuckle on last because then the snuckle will be sticking out and poking out and I want to turn this over and put all the pieces you know so we're gonna do this one last so now we can do this is basically the hardest part right here to get this um, side step one just to put some two screws there and that's it all right, so let's get those they give us a couple of screws here and we got four screws. I can see that is for this thing right here. All right, so pretty easy to go in, guys. You just put this at the back there, push your screw. Things are pretty small, so expect them to be falling and, you know, going places. I think I'm gonna get a magnetic screwdriver, this one. Yeah, so you put this at the back like so. Get your screw in there, just like that. First one is in. Let's get another screw. I find it's pretty easy to put it together. You know? All right, so the side step is on. Let's do the other side. You gotta have patience with these things, you know. They're pretty small. Things will be falling and going about the place. Long as you get one in. The other one is pretty easy to go inside. And the reason I get these little trucks, I really like the scale details. I like the plastic body, hard body, you know, and all the details on this truck. I know it's not going to be real RC car, because this is like part RC and part um, toy, you know. The plastics, you know, the shocks is just a spring inside of it, pushing it back down. The tire's got no foam, it's pretty stiff. The silver is not strong, you know. So, 
everything is Phillips screws so it's not the hobby grade 100 you know what I mean but I really like this little trucks how they build the details and stuff this is the reason I get this in I'm on the on the search right now for a chassis what is a real 1 16 scale chassis where I could use lipo batteries you know and um, that would really change game all right so we got the mirrors we got the door handles I'm gonna put the mirror in last because when I'm putting things on the side don't want to mess it up so we got door handles they're pretty easy to just pop in you know and guys I'm wearing a magnifying glass in my eye so I can see this stuff you know it's trust me pretty small scale stuff you know all right so we got one side of the door handle on Let's do the other side. And they're all pretty same size. You don't have to worry about if this one is that one. You know? I don't think one is bigger than one in any way. And what I do is if one gives in trouble to go in, I just put it somewhere else. All right. So we got two on. Got one at the back here. Just got a certain way to go here. You, know? you have this little groove. So you like, you know, you put your hand under, under it to open up. So just take a look and you will see. Oh, it did to go. There we go. Very cool. All right, so all the handles is on, except in the one on the cab back here. And now I can put the mirrors on. There we go. I might just put a little bit of glue on the mirrors. Nice. The little scale stuff really makes a big difference, you know. And then we have the tailpiece. And there's only one way you can go. So you cannot really mess it up here. Yeah? Nice, we just pop in there. And they give you some stickers right here put at the back there I'm thinking I'm gonna put some brake light there we go all right so the snuckle you get this piece right here this piece is for the stuff for the snuckle you snap this in just like that and your snuckle goes in this holes here and now we just got the indicator pieces to put on the side here which is these two white pieces of plastic I don't think there's no special way to go you know? all right we're looking good let's do the other one all right that's it and now we can move on to we're going to put the stickers and the cool thing about this it's only one way you can go. They showed you they show you how to put it because you got this cut out, you know. Alright, got tail lights. Alright, let's get the stickers on the side. Now we're going to get the back cab cover on. Nice. It's got this piece of plastic right here. Always look out for this piece. All right, so this is how this go in here. It's going from the outside to the inside. It's got to close like so. This clip piece right here comes over right there so kind of come like the hinge to hold it so you can go back and forth like so all right so we have two screws left and this is for this part right here all right there we go and here we get that piece of door 
handle that we could pop in right here. This piece right here was the most difficult piece to go in, guys. But I got it. All right, so now we got the side windows to put in. I think I'm gonna put the top in first, the top and the sides, and then I'm gonna slide in the bottom. Just like that. I think that's the easiest way to get it in there. All right, so let's try the sides. See if we're gonna get it the same way. Get the sides in first. Put this at the back. Get this two piece in here. Like so and just pop it in. That's it. And then we can put this down. Just like that. And we all set every piece is on. And that's some extra links, upper and lower link. So these are all the extra pieces, one screw extra. Dry shaft pieces, up and lower links. And that's just the, the tree I was holding every pieces like the mirror and the wipers and the door handles. That's it, pretty scale truck guys, I like it. Scale is really, really nice. The electronics and stuff is not the best. Dry shaft is plastic. You know, plastic is not bad, you know what I mean? But I think the real deal here, we need a stronger servo and we need a better motor. And this truck could really be a performer. All right, so there's my 4x4 pickup. Pretty cool. This one is light and as you see it's a little bit choppy. Not as smooth as the others. Oh no. This thing is just not waterproof guys. So I don't think the water is the right place for that. Doing good low down. But when the climb up, it's not doing too good. This one is giving me a hard time. It's not so smooth. So we could do it some softer tires, some weight in the tires, better servo.
kind of going where you want, you know, not where you put in it. But as you see, guys, it's working. Yeah, it's cannot side heel well at all because it's got no soft wheels, you know, the wheels are pretty hard. right there guys easy check this out <laughs> easy right there that's pretty high freight let's take another line whoa okay, I guess we got an easy with this guy this one is pretty springy Snuckle singing. Check this out. I have to put some glue to hold on the snuckle right here. Alright. But it's not bad. It's got vibes, you know. If we can get brushless motor for these little trucks, it will be wonderful. Well, we didn't let us down, we make it back to where we started. <laughs> yeah, the steering is not too good at all, guys. And uh, it's pretty jumpy. good at all. Alright, we made it. 